The aim of this lecture is to describe the intelligent vehicles used in smart agriculture applications. They are functional structure and major characteristics, highlighting the aerial vehicles. After this lecture, you will be able to identify the technological building blocks of such intelligent vehicles. The intelligent vehicles used in data collection and intervention processes can be functionally split into carrier and payloads. The carrier function is to navigate the field given a planned trajectory. The main performance feature of a carrier include its autonomy in terms of energy and required operator supervision. The payload function is to execute the requested service, whether it's data collection or intervention, whenever the carrier has reached the region of interest. The payload performance features vary broadly depending on the service they perform. For example, if the service is image capture in a data collection process, then typical performance features can include the image resolution, the sensitivity and noise reduction, focus and depth of field. This functional split does not only help with the design process, but more importantly guarantees the modularity and reusability of both the vehicle design and the final solution. A drone properly designed can be used for crop monitoring, spraying pesticides or cattle monitoring, changing only the payload with minimum or no configuration changes. Let's take a closer look into the typical building blocks of an intelligent vehicle carrier. The mechanical structure which defines the shape, material and the motion mechanism. The powertrain, which defines the energy flow from the energy source, typically a battery or a fuel tank, to the motion mechanisms, fixed wings, wheels or propellers. And how it will be interfaced to the control unit responsible for the navigation. The autopilot, which defines how the powertrain will be controlled to achieve the desired motion following the defined trajectory, respecting the proper level of autonomy, safety and compatible with the payload constraints. The various payloads can be bundled into sensors used for data collection, which can be cameras, RGB, multispectral or thermal, or parametric sensors. Actuators used for intervention, such as spryers used for pesticides and fertilizers, seeders or other traditional tractor attachments. Aerial vehicles are one of the promising carriers that is already witnessing growing adoption rates. The UNICEF, in partnership with the government of Republic of Malawi, has set up a humanitarian drone testing corridor that would facilitate testing in three main areas imagery, connectivity and transport. Whereas in 2017 the fall army worm devastated more than 100,000 hectares of maize in Zambia, the Zambian Air Force was directed to assist the Ministry of Agriculture and Disaster Management and use aircraft to target the pests through the aerial application of pesticides at several hotspots throughout the country. Although UAVs are unlikely to entirely replace helicopters or satellites, they can be of great value increasing the spatial resolution of those traditional aerial systems both for intervention and imaging. Drones are easy to build and operate and can collect high resolution images below the cloud level enhancing the satellite remote sensing imagery. Market reports estimate 
that the biggest growth area for drones use over the next decade will involve specifically precision farming due to the possibility to acquire information cheaply, safely and quickly. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle System International estimates that farms will eventually account for an 80% share of the commercial drones market. In animal and cattle herd monitoring, drones equipped with high-definition thermal cameras are also used to track, inspect and monitor livestock remotely. While in forestry, drones are used in collecting various forest metrics, such as tree canopy analysis, conservation features, tracking native species, monitoring biodiversity and ecological landscape features. More importantly, in crop production, drones are used in a wide range of applications, including soil health scans, monitor crop health, assist in planning irrigation schedules, apply fertilizers, estimate yield data, and they provide valuable data for weather analysis. Drones are foreseen to bring substantial benefits, which include increase in yields by spotting potentially yield limiting problems, saving in time by covering the entire field in less time, removal of human error by capturing data that cannot be seen by the human eye, operational capability also in case of clouds as opposed to aerial and satellite imagery. There are two major categories of UAVs, multi-rotor models and fixed wing models, each having their unique characteristics. A fixed wing aircraft has the advantage of longer endurance and hence can cover larger areas and has a fast flight speed. The disadvantage are that they need an area for landing and takeoff and are harder to maneuver. They can fly at a speed more than 80 km per hour. This makes Fixed wing UAVs ideal for aerial survey, high resolution aerial photos, mapping and land surveying. The limitation is in the requirement of a runaway to facilitate takeoff and landing. In contrast, multi-rotor UAVs have lower speed, shorter flight duration and limited payload capacity. Their agile maneuvering, their ability to hover around a specific area and their ability to operate in confined areas make them ideal for surveillance and for detecting crop pests, disease and weeds. Drones as vehicles are used either in data collection or intervention. Both processes rely on data analytics for decision support and building of prescription maps.